So welcome to um, my video focusing on doing a garage remodel that I did in California. Completely forgot that I had this footage and um, it was stored on my computer so I decided to share that. So this was a weird carport that they turned into a garage and we're changing it back to a garage. Um, it was unstable and we had to take out the concrete underneath because it wasn't thick enough and just so I was doing my best to try to find some before footage of the actual carport slash converted into the garage with scrap wood. And um, this is the footage that I had from the before when I did the initial walk through the house. Come along in the first place. Uh, There's a garage door opener. Yeah, where is it? Oh, the garage door. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's. This is what I wanted, right there. Look at the rat. No! 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 no. <laughs> So whoever built this garage truly used whatever they had available. There were some posters holding up partials of the roof. There were um, signs from the side of the road. It was all types of stuff that made the composition of this room. Like there was no consistency. <laughs> and I could not believe this. Um, and then the next phase is them actually breaking up the concrete. <laughs> that looks better already. Mm. And then they have to move the base rock into there. Then this was buried in the ground. Like who buries the engine into the ground? Like this was buried right there. Crazy. <laughs> so you're probably wondering why did we rip out the concrete and then place new concrete in and I kind of explained this at the very beginning of the video but the um, actual concrete pad wasn't thick enough so if you're going to lay or put a carport on top of concrete the thickness of the concrete only has to be so much but if you plan to put a garage being that there's more weight because there's a roof 
and there's siding, there's doors and all this other stuff. The concrete has to be way more thicker and also too there needs to be rebar. So the um, concrete that I had there before had no rebar in there. It also did not have um, the right thickness to support the weight of the actual garage. If we would have put a garage on top of you know that concrete pad that we had there before it would have just completely cracked and then um, the foundation of the uh, garage would have been compromised so that's the reason why we spent so uh, much time in ensuring that there was a good foundation a good base to work from um, they were out there all day like the um, con uh, contractors were out there all day working on this um, concrete pad and um, I didn't realize that, you know, this would be, you know, <laughs> extremely labor intensive, but it was something that it was useful and something that I learned. And I just kind of had to stay out of the way because they were really, truly um, into this. And you have to be focused because you want to make sure that the whole pad, um, all the bubbles are out of it. And then you have a smooth finish um, afterwards. So they really truly needed to focus on you know their work and um for me to really just stay out of the way i stayed on the stairs just taping and filming everything um, from afar so this is um what the garage i use a garage system to So we finally got the garage and roof and clean this up earlier in the week. Oh yeah, I put these on every chair so they don't blow away. Yeah. Pulo kitty. I finally have a garage. So it's been so long. I wanted you guys to see the before and also too, I could not find the Skimco pictures, but they mudded and stuccoed the garage so it looked like the house. Um, the garage leads out to the alleyway. I reconfigured the fence line so that you have this whole closed in kind of sanctuary in the backyard. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.